presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Mike in Southern California. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Hey, Tom, nice to talk to you again. And I have to start out and first tell you, I love this trading room. This thing is great. This app, it works great. And uh, getting all the information, it, you're like instantly there. No delay, nothing. That's I know. Great. I Listen, Thank I you appreciate again. your growling problem with us. Your channel is in my pocket all day long. It's wonderful. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, man. You Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone had a great weekend, safe weekend. Let's make it a great week, folks. Don't make assumptions. Learn to ask questions. It is always better to ask questions than to make assumptions. Have the courage to ask questions and to be as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to the question, you won't have to make the assumption because you'll know the truth. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 735, NASDAQ up 310, SPs up 105, gold. Gold contract down to $7.40, traded at 1833 an ounce. We had silver up nine cents, twenty-one dollars seventy-seven cents an ounce. Platinum up eight eighty at nine thirty-nine an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck, one hundred and ten dollars sixty-five cents. Notes and bonds, ten-year note up ten ticks, trading one fifteen twenty-seven. The thirty-year up a full point plus five ticks at a one thirty-three sixteen. And king dollar, king dollar is down two hundred seventy-three ticks, trading at one hundred four four twenty-seven. Euro's at 105, the yen's at 136.57, the British pound is trading at 122 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line is you got a nice bounce out here, no doubt about that. You got the uh, S&Ps right now trading up 2.7%, the NASDAQ 2.9, and the Dow Industrials 2.4. That being said, guess what, folks? It is building costs for more lower prices. Why? Bottom line, you get this bounce. S&P, yeah, you bounce over 52 million. You're coming into 176 million. You're coming into 125 million. You can expect a bounce out of it. I expect when you can see the contraction of volume. We already got one ABC structure inside a, a larger ABC structure. Bottom line, you get another bounce going. That's in your S&P. We take a look at the NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. What we have with the NDX, the three Qs out here, they are up eight bucks right now. You're trading at 282. Uh, you know, last Thursday, we hit lows at 81 million. We did 82 million on Friday. You're doing 38 million now. You're coming into 94 million. Gold. Gold contract is having a hard time holding price. And this is telling me that, you know, this dollar has been like just strong like bull and this pullback in the dollar looks to me like that's all it might be uh, because this contract can't get out of its way, man. Right now, you, you, you're back $6.70. You do have light volume, you know, so we've been trading sideways for quite a bit. Now, if I go to the XAU and the HUI, though, this is what is pretty dangerous in this market right now, meaning in the metal market. And the XAU and the HUI, what we did is this. We took out the lows, you know, last Thursday uh, and rejected them. But the bottom line is that that rejection looks to me like it's going to go back after it again. The XAU got down to 118, we're at 123. The low it took out was 119. It didn't take out the low that was established out here at 119.01. That was established in January. Okay, we got to... Oh, no, look at this. One, 1839. We did take it out. That's, see, chat's interesting, man. Look at that. Yeah, we did take it out. So we're going back down there, man. This thing wants to go back and test. The Gold Bugs Index, same type of setup inside the Gold Bugs Index. And we have there the Gold Bugs Index. Bottom line, we got down to 
The low in January is 236.37. We got the 234.56. That thing wants to get down there again. So if that's the case, this good old dollar, very well, this could have been just a, basically a pullback. It came down hard last Tuesday. Today, you couldn't get under the low that was established on Thursday. The high that it has to get over is this 105.005 or 104.413. The way that thing's set up, man, that could be an ABC structure up. It, you know, it failed on price last week, even on the weekly. But the way the rest of these metals are lining up, particularly, folks, on a day that, you know, yeah, the gold and silver are up today, but they're not up with gusto, man. Um, so that's telling me that we're not done yet on the way down. Uh, yeah, or at least test them. Some of the high volume equities out here today. We got Advanced Micro is up $2.70. We got uh, NVIDIA is up 8 bucks. Tesla's got a real move. That's up. Uh, and actually, Tesla is moving with volume today. That's up $76. Uh, bucks. That's up uh, over 10%. You got Ma Bell's uh, trading up uh, 64 cents. That's got a little juice underneath it. Uh, Exxon's up $6. Now, that looks like a good move, but that came down hard and fast. And the real question is, let's get over and take a look at this oil contract and let's see. Taking a look at it, oil. You know, oil right now, this contract, we're in the July contract. You're trading $110.65. And the real question is, is that, okay, so we came down hard. Now, watch, watch this. That what we did last Friday, last Thursday, rather, folks, was, yeah, 17th, that right there, you know, is very well could be a loss engulfing, meaning that you have four or five days down, you, you opened higher, you closed lower. Um, this thing still looks like it wants higher price. That's the real bottom line. Let me pull this up here. One second. So the volume that we came down on. Yeah. They're rolling contracts too. One second. CL, CL. Yeah, that's still giving me that one. Yeah. If we go to the um, Exxon Mobil, you're going to see what I'm talking about. That. And this is what happens in highly volatile markets that you've moved so much that it looks like, hey, man, you got a nice big move. Well, guess what? Ex Exxon's down off of 105. On Friday, on, on Thursday, it hit 85. On Friday. No, Friday hit 85. And, you know, you get a bounce going. Um, you're trading at 92.30. Yeah, well, actually, anything over 92.05 is saying that, yeah, I can go back to the high. Uh, today, the volume is not bad on it. Chevron. Let's go look at Chevron. CVX. Chevron out here. Yeah, Chevron... This is telling me we're going to go into consolidation here. Chevron's got a high volume low. It broke the swing point, so Chevron wants to go back to its 145.79. Chevron's going up with lighter volume today. That's telling me that that uh, those oil stocks, you know, bottom line, just might get dragged down with the broad market the next leg down. Stay right there, folks, to come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 745. Nasdaq's up 316. S&Ps are up 105. We'll come right back. of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve and a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? 
Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have the Dow. Dow Industrial is right now trading up 728. NASDAQ is up 313. S&P is up 101. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the open call. Now, it's very easy to get his newsletter, folks. You come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see right at the featured content, the opening call. You just hit that button. You hit subscribe. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And you can get it for one year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks, okay? So bottom line, you want to check it out. Just hit well, a month, six months, a year. Check it out. Basil also has about uh, approximately 10 to 12 archives on there that show you exactly how to ride that wave each and every day. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. I hope you had a long week, a good long weekend. I did. I hope you had a great Father's Day. It was fun. Yeah, it was very good. It was. I know. I love it. I love it. So uh, these three three day weekends, you can get used to them, you know. <laughs> oh man, I think we should have three day weekends all the time, man. That's that's where it's at. You get just as much work done, man. It just depends on well, how much. You know what's interesting is that the the futures were open, and <laughs> Sunday night the futures ran up. They ran down, then they ran up very strongly, and we followed through on Monday. So even though it wasn't a market day, I thought there was a really important session and. Um, I, on Sunday, I waited Saturday because I did a bunch of work I needed to go through. And on Sunday, I did my market overview uh, video for my subscribers to my opening call. And I said, I like a lot of what's going on here, even if it's just short term. The fact is that some kind of relief rally should come early next week. And the reason I looked at that was, if you see this little tiny doji candle here, this is the daily chart on the left of the Dow, and the middle is the weekly, yes. and the right is monthly. This tiny little doji candle came about just as the unbalanced volume. I don't usually talk about the MACD and stochastical, that I use them all the time, as being overbought, oversold, because the stochastic holding strongly above 95% is fantastic. It's usually great, and if it's underneath... 10%, uh, which is the exact opposite of being over 90%, this is on the way down, 10%, that's usually a negative. But I do use the on-balance volume as very overbought. And you can see right here on the, what was that? That was the 27th of May, the on-balance volume made a high and then turned down quite sharply. And that's almost where we got that 
turn in the Dow at 33,272. So a couple of things I like very much. I like the fact that I went through all, whoops, I went through all the Dow stocks, 30 stocks, and while I didn't get any real buy signals, many of them were extremely oversold and ready for at least a bounce. That was number one. Number two, the fact that I had this little um, small doji candle, which can either be a halfway marker. You can see this long one here was like a halfway marker to the downside. It could also be a reversal candle. So I like that. I like the fact that the unbalanced volume, which when it gets oversold or overbought, that's the one thing they can turn with the price of whatever we're following. So we, we went along on Friday, and I, I needed the confirmation that we'd have a, a, the futures would be up over the weekend, and thank goodness they were. So this is a very good follow through, but um, until the Dow, you can see this pink line here is a nine period moving average, and way above it, that, and that's at 30,877. Way above it at 31,249 is the 14 period moving average. So to get these to cross so that the pink turns green because it's above the 14 will take oh, at least 31,500, uh, 31,600. So I like to go step by step. So we've got the first initial turnaround. That's important. It's still the day is young. We've got 35 minutes to go. Anything can happen. But so far, this is good because I said to subscribers today that if after 1.30 or 2 o'clock, the Dow is holding strongly to the upside and the VIX is pulling back and the VIX is now at 29.64, that's the volatility index, that will at least allow the Dow to close strongly because if there was a failure, we would have had that by about 2 o'clock. So, so far, this is good action. So that's just one step. The other is that in looking at a number of the, um, and, I, and as I say, we went long on Friday already, so we're long via the diamonds. But also looking at the different uh, Dow stocks, uh, we also took a position in IBM. This is the first, I can't even remember when last I ever looked at IBM as a long position. But one of the reasons is, look how it held. Look how the market, look, the uh, IBM was at 144 just, uh, where was it, on the 6th of June. Then the market took a huge dive. And you look, look, IBM only went down to 132. So my, my reasoning is that we've seen Microsoft, Adobe, and you can just go through the list of stocks from the year 2000 that just got hammered, had almost 90% or sometimes even more of a decline and then morphed. They, they reinvigorated their company and, and thought through the, the process of what they need to do. And most of them went on to new all-time highs. So my thinking is that IBM in the AI and uh, information technology and the cloud, there's a chance that they have finally got something right. So I'm, we, we took a long position, and it's at this particular point, there's a lot of uh, evidence on the upside that we will need to confirm that it's going to go much higher. The fact that it held well on the downside, we've seen stocks that have held well, and when the market broke to the upside, they didn't do very much. In this case, it was really important to see what it did today, and it's up $3.12 at 138.14. So... I'd go one step at a time, but I'm, I'm kind of putting it in the Dow category as kind of, for me, it's a, it's a kind of a visual icon, because if IBM is able by this coming Friday or early next week to actually trade in the 143, 144 area, I think that'll be a really good sign that, it, that, that is, you can't just look at a sector, you have to look at the sector leadership, and it would be surprising to everyone if IBM suddenly became a leader in the tech. So I like the action and so far it's acting well. And we're also, we're in a, an, another position that we just added that is in the, um, it's kind of the former NASDAQ winners that really got beaten down. So we have an ETF that kind of represents that. And so far today it's up about four and a half percent. So we're being Basil, very when, selective. When, yeah. when we get to, how do you get to a, a, a letter A? So you identify the low bar. Actually, let me just show you. Right, we don't know if it's the low or not. That's why. That's why I'm asking. No, oh, right. oh, that's a that's a that's a very good point. So my my thesis always is, 
we use uh, different techniques. On the way down, I usually use the technical indicators. I use the MACD. I use the stochastic. I use the unbalanced volume. So does it, have to get, does, it, does it have to get to the 14-day or the 9-day to get to an A? Or is it, it just... Does, no, it doesn't have to. There are other techniques that I use. But most importantly, on the way up, I always use the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, okay. and D yep. is where other things go. That's a very good question. Right. So on the way down, I use... I use the, look, this is a trough B in the IBM. I use that, but it isn't as important because on the way up, I'm always using the letters. And yeah, it simply shows there's a starting position and right. then we go alphabetically, A, B, C, D, alphabetically. Yeah. Cool, so, man. Yes. so that's, I mean, that's basically it. So I, we're looking at this as, I, I think this, based on the oversold action that I'm looking at, I think this can last a little longer than the usual, just pop up and drop. So I'm, I'm hoping for that because the technicals indicate we are very over, oversold. And folks, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You can see it right into the featured content. You hit that button and you are off to the races. Basil, have a great one, safe one, and we look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thank Talk you. To you. I want to take advantage Stay of right this there, sector. Folks, now is right the back. time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is right now up 708. You get the NASDAQ up 303. s and is up 103. Let's go over to the DAX in Germany for a second because we have the questions about the aspect of, um, you know, you think this is a one-day wonder. And, you know, <laughs> if you look at the DAX, it, it very well could be because what you have out here today, folks, the DAX got to 13,443 um, and then gave up, uh, bottom line, 160 points in a heartbeat. And it looks like the DAX is going to go after the swing low again and go after the, well, the last swing we were talking about last week. Um, okay, yeah, so let, me, let me pull a few more of these up in Europe and see what we're looking at. Because we, we certainly had a nice bounce. That being said, though, that bounce is on...
particularly really light volume. So we pull up the FTSE. The FTSE right now, FTSE in London. Come on, baby. Okay, that was up 30 bucks. That didn't hold price either. Interesting. Yeah, hey, we'll we'll see where this baby shakes out. Most times, you know, if you, if you, you, you know, you get a little bounce going, there's no reason that it can't bounce for a few days. Uh, that being said, though, uh, when you look at those European stocks, um, you don't be surprised if you open down again. It's going to get close right after it. Now, the, if we ever do that, that's just telling you that you have one of the weakest markets that we've seen in quite some time. Because the bottom line is that the last time, you know, we came down hard last week, it tried to bounce for one day and gave it up again. So if this is a, a one day wonder and gives it up again, man. The market's telling us quite a bit, man. <laughs> that's, that's the bottom line. Um, you know, we'll see where it's gonna shake out, but that's the way that it is shaking out at this point. Yes, the, the contraction in volume is huge. I mean, you have a contraction of volume on the way up, folks, after a downtrend, and when you're in a downtrend, um, the bottom line, you know, most times you can bounce a little bit further than this, there's no doubt. And if you're gonna go back down, you have a contraction of volume on the way up. What has happened in this market, this market hasn't even been able to get a bounce. Let's go to our man, Frank in Gloucester. Frank, what's going on, man? Hey, how are you? Oh, it's beautiful up here, Tom. I I'm bet Tom, it is. 75 degrees, breezy. Nice. You have a good Father's yeah, Day terrific. and Grandfather's Day? Oh, very, very nice. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, good, yeah. yes. All kinds of grandkids. Yeah, good that, time. That's so much fun. Yep. So. I know it. I know it. Teak, huh? Let's take uh, a look at this. Yeah, this is it's a gold stock I've been looking at for a while. It seems to have pretty good fundamentals. Yeah, let's take a look. So this, this company has a lot of metal, folks. We're talking about right from zinc, copper, mobiline, gold, coal. Uh, they do business in the United States, Canada, Peru, and Chile. The low is $19. The high is 45 The PE6, they pay a 1% dividend. Okay, so, okay, so I came down. Okay, so we did 6.5, 7.2. Yeah, I like this. So this is what happens here, folks, okay? You get a consolidation down at the lows. I, I do like how this is set up, Frank, and the reason being is that the, the gold and silvers didn't do this. It came down, but what they did is that they came down, man, with almost too much volume into these lows, the same lows, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this has a little bit more. I'd almost let it test, test it again because there's something, to me, there's something that's not right just yet in this metals market, man. Um, right. And my take on this, folks, is that we should have took off last week. And, you know, what happens is that this dollar, man, you know, this dollar just looks like it just not, does not want to go down. You know, it gave it up. We, we, had, we had a failure. That being said, you can see it today. It rejected 103.900. You're at 104.391. Um, and what I'm doing, Frank, what you're hearing off me also is this. We're in a double ABC structure down in the marketplace, right? Meaning yeah, yeah. folks uh -huh. in the S&P, the NASDAQ, the small caps. Yes, we have a bounce going today. It's a contraction of volume. These stocks are moving with the broad market, man. And they had, like today, it would seem to me that, you know, the, the, the metal stocks in general should be up a lot more than they are, man. This is like, you know, um, yeah. it's just, there's just not enough there. So you can imagine if, in fact, you know, we take another leg down, it's like, okay, man, where are they going to go now? You know, I, I don't like it when, the, it, you know, we all have views all the time, and sometimes they're stronger, uh, you know, views than other times. My take last week shouldn't have that, you know, I mean, we know the market's the market. I'm not saying it shouldn't have went down. I'm just saying that 
those metal stocks were way too weak. Um, with gold still really holding, I mean, it didn't fall apart, you know what I mean? So. Yes, yeah, it sure looks that way. Do, do you think that the uh, oil is driving the dollar, oil price? No, I think what's happening is that inflation is so bad and no one's tackling it, and we probably are tackling it a little bit more than anyone else, so that the dollar's strong. Because my, my take here, what's going on, I, I don't, I, is that no one's moving fast yeah. enough to crush inflation, man. I, I, think, I think these rates are going to go up. I think mortgage rates are going to go up over 10%. And yeah. because, yeah. you know, I went through this before. You went through it too, Frank, man. I mean, the bottom oh, yeah. line, folks, this is a five-year deal the last time this happened, and you needed a Volcker to come in. And, I mean, he just flipped everyone out, and I remember it so well because I was a skate guy at the time but <laughs> I just remember it because I remember everything getting so expensive um, and it doesn't yeah. end like they, you know what blows my mind Frank these all these analysts even talk like it ends in like three or four quarters I mean I that's impossible it, it's all po political talk Tom. yeah there's no reality Right. Well, I'm talking about even financial analysts. There's, you know, like, oh, yeah, if we do this, it's going to, it's like, hold it, man. When inflation gets out of the bag, it takes, you know, years for it to come back. Well, and it, that, talking about slowing down the economy to tackle inflation, that doesn't make any sense to me. No, but that's the only way that inflation stops. They, they get, unfortunately, that's, that's what we're talking. They're going to put the economy... <sighs> In a recession, because that's the only way it stops, man. Give me, give me the range. Give me the range on the U.S. oil industry. I'll have inflation stop really fast. Yeah, I, I, my take is that what has happened is that inflation is everywhere, in, including in payrolls, and the perception. Once it got to payrolls yeah. and the perceptions there. Inflation is all about perception. That this is where the real wild card is, folks. When when this was happening before, Volcker put it all the way up there to 14 or 15%, and then we started off at that level. This time, we started at like 1.5%, and they're going to jam the rate all the way up there. So, you know, yeah. it's like we're all going to yeah. have less money, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, this is going to be bad because the, the economy that we've built – is built on really low interest rates. It is. So now if they start coming up to be really high, it's hey. going to hit businesses like crazy. You no, know, it is. It is. And uh, yeah, with the choices, you hit businesses, you know, a business in general, or do you just keep paying higher price and then everything's worth nothing? Unless you have a hard asset. Yeah. You know. Cook it, brother. Hang in there. Yep. Thanks, All man. Right. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up to 680. You got the NASDAQ up 290. S&Ps are up 98. Let's talk a little bit about inflation here. So, the last inflationary spiral we had, folks, okay, you, you had Lyndon Johnson. Bottom line, it was the, you know, bringing in the great American social, um, pushing money into the system. And I can tell you flat out, you know, I'm elated that he did it because I happen to be one of those folks growing up in South Boston that you know, benefited from it because what, what, what had happened in that whole area is that, you know, less, well, poor areas start getting more money. There were more programs. There were plenty of jo starting jobs, okay? There's no doubt about that. And then simultaneously, the Vietnam War was there. So the acceleration of cash in the system was exponential. That brought inflation in. That area there took seven or eight years to hit. My take on this one here, this goes all the way back to Alan Greenspan. We have been putting money, you know, we know that uh, buy the dip, right? Buy the dip has worked, you know, since I've been in the market. <laughs> I mean, realistically, right? I mean, the bottom line, I remember when I first looked at the market, the Dow was 808. I remember it so well, okay? The, the Dow was uh, running out of 30,000. Bottom line, why has it worked? It has worked because, you know, since Greenspan, every single time there's any little, you know, hiccup, the bottom line is the Fed would throw more money. It went from Greenspan to Bernanke to um, Powell, right? And the kicker, though, was, okay, you put money in, you put money in. Then the kicker was we had COVID. We hit COVID, then Every country, including ours, they sent out so much money, folks, it was incredible. It was, you know, the bottom line is that, you know, um, and I'm talking about right from SBA loans, from the payroll things. Thank God they did, I'm, I'm, you know, because the bottom line is that at that particular point, that could have been a real disaster. But that being said, the bottom line is that there is it was way too much money put in the system. Now, the way that inflation goes... Right? Supposedly, the, well, not supposedly, the definition of inflation is that here. On our left hand side, our left hand here, has the amount of money that's put in the system. Our right hand, okay, bottom line, is the amount of assets that are in the country. But let's make this a small country and just say this is the United States right now, or just so you can get an aspect of what happens with inflation. Okay, so we have $100 worth of assets. Let's just say it's $100 worth of assets in the whole country, okay? The bottom line, on the, on the other side, there was only $100 in circulation, okay? So the bottom line is that we're chipping away here, going back and forth. That's a balance, supply and demand balance. What ends up happening with inflation is that on this left-hand side, all of a sudden, 
we got $130, and these assets were $100, right? Well, what do you think is going to happen? I'm going to bid against you, you're going to bid against me, and we're going to raise that same asset up to $130. We might even raise it up to $160, but we're going to raise it up to the amount of cash that's available. That's what inflation does. That's the first part of it. The second part of it comes down that, yeah, we, yeah, you know, you had the bottlenecks and all this stuff, no doubt about that. But the second part of it, which is the biggest, is that it got into folks need more money in their paychecks because the aspect is they can't afford the prices that have gone up so dramatically. Once it's in the system, meaning the payroll system, that's when inflation takes off like a rocket ship. And that's, what, that's what's happened. That happened a good six or seven months ago, okay? So now the real question is, is that, okay, what slows it down? Well, I suspect what's gonna happen is this, that we actually went up 30% on everything. I'm talking about everything, 30%, straight across the board, right? Now the question is, how is this gonna come in? Is this gonna come in Another drip, drab, six, ten, eight, any of those numbers per year. I suspect for the next few years it's going to be there in spades. Now, what's going to be interesting is this. In order for the, well, the, of course, there's always two scenarios at least, right? If the Fed blinks, then, yeah, guess what? You know, bottom line, if I said, when I mean blink, that it, they don't go up in rates as fast as they should. What would end up happening, yes, the stock market would go up, housing would continue to go up, and then uh, you'll probably have some kind of social revolution, man. <laughs> because you th you, if you think there's inequities in the system now, the inequities in the system would be so far out, you know, there'd be a problem. And now I can't see that one. The reason I can't see that one is this, is that I think people are having a hard en enough time already paying rents. So... What I actually see is that they're going to have to break this cycle, man. That's, that's the bottom line. And, you know, let me tell you something. That's not the easy thing to say because when I'm personally even saying to myself, I know that, okay, man, you're going to come in for some losses. And those losses, yeah, you could say that, okay, they're paper losses. But what if they're paper losses for five or ten years? Most of the time when something like this happens, folks, right, my take is that we have about four years left. I think this whole thing started last November. We're gonna be going down for about a year and a half. We'll get, you know, some relief September, October. We should probably make, you know, people keep saying we're making a major low here. My, my take is that's not even close. We'll make a major low, my take, September, October. You go up for a bit and we'll find out at that particular point, okay, is that just a relief and we're still gonna have a little bit more to go. Because I think all of this is gonna to have to do with what the asset cost versus what the payroll is versus almost you know how people can live. And the wild card in this has to do with the large funds buying single family housing. Because what will happen, well, we'll see how this shakes out inside of that. Because you got to remember something, man. This is the first type of downdraft to have had since the funds have been buying single family housing. And, and this is where, you know, they've taken a huge amount of housing out of the marketplace. So the real question is will they keep coming in, buying, holding it up, or in fact that it gets crushed so fast that they'll back off and then you get first time buyers that can actually get in the marketplace. It's going to be tricky, man. The whole thing's going to be tricky. Um, but I just, I just, I suspect there's a down, there's a resetting of assets worldwide and we're just at the beginning of it. That's how this thing seems to be said. And, and none of us really know what the reset is. It's the, you know, at one second it says, oh, how could, it, how could it ever get down 20, 25% overnight? Well, guess what? Just look at some of the stocks, right? Look back how you were thinking, you know, nine months ago, and then look back at what the NASDAQ's already done. 
all of our decisions are per perception, folks. That's how it works. Dow Industrial's up 705, Nasdaq's up 296, S&P's up 101. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 694. You get the NASDAQ up 289. S&Ps are up 99. No doubt, man, you get a bounce going here. So let's take a look at this. You know, we know that uh, yeah, the DAX didn't hold price. The FTSE almost didn't hold price. You know, this is up nine and a half bucks, okay? So you're going to get some flax. The SPY's at 375. 385 is basically uh, ice. So we'll see what uh, see if we get get some follow through and see uh, if we can at least get to that swing point of uh, 383. That's for the spy. We take a look at the NDX 100, the three Qs. Right now they're holding price. Also, they're up uh, 757, uh, 281. Uh, this this one looks dicey, man. <laughs> Let's see, 282, 34. So check this out, man. This is actually going to be a failure on price and volume today. Let me go see if this other one, because this should close over 282.34. You get over the high of the 13th of June, you're going to close underneath it. You had volume there of 94 million, you only had 44 million. Let me go back to the SPY for a second. It might have done the same thing. Oh, I see this. Yeah, see, the SPY didn't even get there. Yeah, the SPY didn't even get there. So, 
You've heard me say this a million times, man. The NASDAQ brings you up, the NASDAQ brings you down. So I'd be really careful because I think you very well may have a one day wonder here, man. If the Qs don't close over this 282.34, that's a back from it. That's, that's about as anemic as you can get. That's what it comes down to. And what that would be telling me is that overnight, if that's the case, overnight what you're going to see is this dollar is going to go higher again. He's down 255 right now. The, the swing point to keep your eye on is 105, 500, 505 to be exact. One, 105, so it's a thousand, uh, it's a thousand ticks from where we are. But you rejected lower price today at 103, 938. Because as this do dollar goes higher, the market can't stand it now. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show, folks. Meow! Look at him, folks. Building